हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज दिस इज सोहन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग यूर टेक्निकल स्पार्क चैनल फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन बैकअप प्लान बिकॉज सो फार वी हैव यू नो अंडरस्टूड हाउ एग्जैक्टली वी कैन कॉन्फिगर आवर सिक्वल सर्वर इन इन टू द फेल ओवर क्लस्टर इन एक्टिव पैसिव मोड सो इफ वन सर्वर गोज डाउन एन अदर सर्वर विल टेक केयर इफ सेकेंडरी गोज डाउन देन प्राइमरी विल टेक केयर वाइस वर्सा However in this entire scenario i was expecting question from you guys that if my both of the servers got failed how exactly we can perform the restoration task but strangely i never got any question from any of you guys anyways one of my colleague who requested the same things while we talking on this particular series so i thought to cover this particular scenario in this video so we'll basically focus on how exactly we can take backup of our sql server so we will be able to use that during the restoration process so for that uh, you already aware that how exactly our environment is so as you could see we have total two server one is windows uh, or we can say win sql a and win sql b one is our primary or you can say active server and another is passive server however if both the server goes down due to any issue okay and you are not in a stage to turn this server on then the very first thing is we would require backup of this uh, sql servers so that whatever the application in with uh, this particular servers are integrated we can configure another fresh server and restore this database okay so let me show you how exactly you can create maintenance plan so that your backup will happen on day to day basis and we'll see this particular scenario in practical after this small intro video hey welcome back guys so as you could see currently i am on to the windows sql a server okay which is our primary server and uh, as i see our all disks are integrated you know connected with this particular win sql a server right and uh, on win sql a and win sql b we have total two servers and both the server the disk name in okay which i have uh, you you guys can see here for data i have d drive log i have l drive so this particular naming conversion of drive letter is same in my win sql a server and win sql b server okay so i'm so whenever my backup job will run it's not going to bother me now another thing when i'm going into the data because this is where my actual server is installed okay my database is installed uh, you know present So recently, uh, as you could see, I don't have any uh, custom database created uh, earlier. But you know, prior to this video, I have created one test database that is Technical Spark. Let me show you by logging into the Management Studio, and then I'll show you how exactly you can take the backup. So until and unless it gets open, Management Studio. Okay, let me show you. This is my database, and during the introduction, I requested you, right? uh if you want you can create one dedicated drive just for the backup but since i have this is my test environment and i don't have much data so i'm going to utilize the this particular same drive and this backup folder to store the backup okay so let me log in to my this particular account and click on connect so that i'll be able to log in into my database and perform the further configuration So as you could see, here is my database, okay, which I'll be taking backup or whatever the database. Uh, if you have multiple database, then those also you can backup in a single go. And to backup your you know database or schedule this backup job, what you will have to do? There are two options. One is you can directly right click and then task and click on backup. But the fact is, guys, here uh, each and every time you want to take backup, you have to perform the same thing. right but since we are running uh, if you are in production then you may be running 24 by 7 operation so in this way uh, your backup should always be present okay so that you will be able to restore it each and as and when it required so to create the backup plan okay let me very first show you currently i don't have any backup jobs available right so to create the backup plan we'll have to go to the management under management there is a thing called maintenance plan okay so right click on that and select maintenance plan wizard and there is a multiple types of backup guys which we can do but right now in this particular video i am only going to cover full database backup so let's click on next uh let's give a example like full database backup okay if you want you can put the description and other stuff 
okay and if you also want to give the name so let me just get uh, 1 am every day if you want to schedule it for the weekly and other stuff you can do that how exactly this backup job will done then this is this will be trigger as with the help of sql server agent okay and if you remember then during the or under server readiness we have given you know explicitly permission for this particular account for that user okay so how exactly you would like to run this so i'm going to select here single schedule for the entire plan or no schedule okay and when exactly you would like to run so for that we'll have to click on change uh, just ignore guys this uh, because it look like there is some resolution issue so that's the reason i am not able to view it correctly but no issue so since we have here we have mentioned every day i'll just select here okay the name is automatically got popped up and this will be our recurring right daily weekly monthly however you know whatever is your requirement you can run this particular job in that way but instead of daily let me just mention here weekly and when exactly we will uh, when exactly we will trigger this so let's say weekly so okay, i'll just you know suggest you guys how exactly i'm configuring the backup so let's say every sunday okay today is the sunday so i'll just say every sunday this backup job has to be triggered and when exactly you would like to trigger this so let's say 1 am in the morning which means it will be our midnight as per the server time zone start date is this which is today's and there is no end date so we are done with all the things now let me click on okay here let me just change the name to weekly uh let me do one thing guys here what we will do we'll just mention 01 am okay and once this is done uh let's go with the space hyphen also will remove and sunday is okay perfectly fine 1 am click on okay and let me just copy this name and we'll give the same name into this particular task as well okay and let's click on next now what is that you would like to do with this so i'll be choosing backup database and that will be full if you would like to know more about this what is the uh, this particular check database integrity string database uh, reorganized index rebuild index update statistics clean up history execute sql server agent dog differential uh, backup transaction log backup and maintenance clean up tasks then just let me know in the comment box and if i received 50 likes on this particular video then the people for whatever the things they you know i'm getting more vote or demand i'll make video on that particular topic but you, until unless you don't comment i will not be able to understand what exactly you guys are required so let's click on next okay backup database full again click on next just to let you know guys okay let me again go back you can select multiple things also okay but the uh, just slight configuration will get change in the next videos but the purpose you will have to understand that because that is very important and you have to plan this sequence very smartly otherwise there is a chances that your server will get over utilized and it may crash also due to memory issue memory shortage or other stuff so the planning is very important so let me click on next which database you would like to backup mm -hmm. okay there is some resolution issue guys otherwise when we click on this we will be able to see all the list of database like you know technical spark and other stuff okay but right now we are not uh, we are not able to view it in those things so i'll simply check on all database okay where exactly is going to store so tape is fine now destination where we are going to save this so i you okay, it will by default store into the d drive let me check it yeah perfect this is the same path so we are good in terms of path if you want you can you know change this particular path as well now let's click on create a subdirectory for each database and backup extension will be bak let's click go to the options and how long you would like to keep this backup so okay and the compression setting so i'll go with the default server settings and then backup set will expire okay we are not able to see but i know this what is exactly written here so backup set will expire within so let's say i would like to keep two copies so 14 days is fine or if you want to keep it three then we'll select 21 days okay so as a you know so that always we will be having three copies of the you know active uh, this particular full database into 
this drive which we have i mean or you can say this particular path which we have selected so all things is done and whenever backup is complete verify the backup integrity okay this is again important thing for rest i we don't have to do much things so let's click on next where is that you would like to save the logs okay so the logs will be generated into this particular folder let me show you that folder as well uh copy let me browse it manually and paste the path here so i'm back and log continue so this is where it is going to store the logs or you can say report if in case if you think okay this is not a convenient thing so let me just give it to same path which is backup so the backup report will be generated into the same directory okay into the subfolder so paste it perfect would like to re uh, report uh, you know email this report so if you have smtp integrated then you will be able to you know uh, email this particular report on the email id also for that you will have to check this box okay and then you will get the uh, other options now once this is done click on next review all the things which you have filled so far okay and then click on finish and once we click on finish guys right now under the job and maintenance plan we don't have anything but after we click on finish it will create one job as well as plan so let me click on finish and it's creating done let's click on close and if you want to view the report you can view it as well now oh close okay and what we'll do we'll simply refresh and as soon as we refresh we see this particular job has been created right sub plan as well as uh, under maintenance let me refresh here as well expand and see this particular thing has been mapped into the maintenance plan now if you want to uh, you know start the job right now you can also you know do that for that you just simply have to click on start job and it will trigger see is taking backup and this is the report which is being generated okay also right now i have you know manually sele uh, uh, selected this particular or you can say manually executed but you don't have to worry about this because it's going to trigger every night at 1 am okay so as per your requirement you can plan your you know uh, this particular full backup on every week okay saturday sunday in that way and then in the in on the middle days you can configure your differential backup incremental backup likewise okay so that you will not run out of your disk space see here is a backup back extension it gives the timing seconds everything is available guys so hopefully now you have understood how to take the backup now another thing is uh, very important that is you let's say you have backup but what if your server is you know down and you are in you are into the situation where you need to perform the disaster recovery so if you would like me to cover that particular topic as well then i would require at least 100 like within a month once this video is published to all you guys okay and if i get that much of likes then yeah i will definitely make one video where i will be demonstrating entire process that how exactly you will be able to perform the disaster recovery when you are in cluster and that video will be a little longer so before i put my efforts i need all your response and now guys if i even okay since we have configured this particular you know backup plan so if i you know uh, shut down this particular server then also i don't have to worry about it because my another server okay which is configured under the failure cluster let me show you that as well failure cluster manager okay because all our uh, this particular configuration will get automatically replicated into our another node as well okay which is our win sql b okay right now this is also active so whenever it goes down the entire things will be taken care by this and our job uh, i mean you, our backup job which we have configured will run smoothly without any issue so you never so you don't require to worry about your backup you know sql backup is always be there just you know you should be curious about the disk space whether you are running out of the disk space or you know whether you have assigned everything is properly or not and once this particular backup is done and if you have any taped uh, solution to perform the backup on daily basis then you can configure that particular you know data which we have backed up here into the tape drive 
so there is a lots of options are available so it depends how beautifully you fine tune or you know configure your environment and guys i am hoping that you have learned a lot in this particular series if so please give me a thumbs up because this was our last video in this particular microsoft sql server failover cluster series and if you would like me to create a few more videos on this particular time then as i said you have one month of time because once i start another series then it will be difficult for me to again retouch this entire you know configuration or videos because after that i'll be destroying my this lab so once i lab destroy the lab so i will not be able to prepare new videos so make sure you respond to this particular videos before one month if you have any additional requirement and as always if you found this entire series very useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe click on the bell icon so that as and when i'll upload new video you will get notified so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing series till then bye bye and we'll end this series here